Hello guys, so today uh, we will be solving a problem from oscillations. Uh, here we have a system, uh, it's a uh, ruler which is pinned from a point. Uh, this distance is x, uh, we have an angle theta here. Uh, we are asked to find x so that uh, this thing oscillates in the shortest possible period. So, I have written the formula of uh, period here. It's 2 pi times i, which is the moment of inertia, uh, over uh, mgh in square root, where h is this distance, the distance between pin and the center of mass. Uh, so, uh, now the only unknown here is the moment of, moment of inertia, so let's write it, i is equal to i center of mass plus uh, m h square. This is uh, the parallel axis term, uh, let me write it here. Uh, now, we know that uh, I center of mass uh, is when it's pinned here, it's ML square over 12, uh, I is equal to this, plus MH square. So, this is our expression for the moment, moment of inertia. Let's write it in the formula. So we have the period as t is equal to 2 pi times square root i, which is this expression, m l square over 12 plus m h square over m g h. M g h. So m's are cancelling out. Uh, if we multiply with this 2 pi inside, we get t is equal to square root um, square root 4, 4 pi square goes inside, so pi square l square over 3 plus 4 pi square h square over gh. This is our uh, expression for period. Uh, we are looking for the shortest possible period. So uh, we know that in order to find uh, the maximum or minimum point, we have to uh, find the derivative and make it equal to zero. So let's take the derivative. Uh, with respect to h, because we are looking for h. Uh, so, dt over dh gives us uh, 1 over 2 pi, uh, not 2 pi, 1 over square root 2 times square root pi square l square over 3 plus 4 pi square h square over 9h times uh, the derivative of the inside goes to the upper part. Uh, the derivative of it's the derivative of division, so the derivative of first is 8 pi square h times 9h, 9h minus the derivative of second times the first, the derivative of second is 9, so multiplying 9, 3 pi square l square 
minus uh, 36 pi square h square divided by second square 81 h square. So if we look at this expression, we can see that uh, the denominator is never zero, uh, and it's neither uh, undefined because h is not zero. So, uh, in order to make this thing equal to zero, uh, we have to look at the numerator. We have 72 pi square h square here and 36 here. So. 36 pi square h square must be equal to 3 pi square l square. Here we have a cancellation. We have 12 left here. Pi square is gone. So we have h is equal to 1 over 12 in square root times L, L. This is our expression for H. So, we know that we were looking for X and H is our, uh, actually this point was the center of mass. So, here we have L over 2 here and L over 2 here. So actually, we can write x like L over 2 minus L over 2 minus h. This is our expression for x. So uh, we have the answer x as equal to L over 2 minus h, this one square root 1 over 12 L. This is our final answer here. So that's all for this question. Thank you for listening.